Hey everyone, Casey here from Clientric. Today I'm going to tell you all about Zoho workflows, what they are, and how you can go about creating one in this short tutorial. So to kick us off, we're actually looking to build a workflow. Workflows are most prominent in Zoho CRM. There's a ton of other applications that can have workflows and have automation pieces attached to them. But in this case, we're just going to be looking at Zoho CRM. So a workflow is basically an automation. It's something that triggers um, certain different functions to run. So you can say that when a new lead comes in or when a new contact is created or when a new account is created or when this specific thing happens or maybe at a specific time in a day, you can actually trigger an automation piece. For example, let's say that you wanted to trigger an automation piece on Facebook ads. As each lead comes in, has a lead source as Facebook ads, LinkedIn ads, and maybe Google ads. And you want something special to happen only when Facebook ads come in. So you can specifically say that I want to filter only on leads that have Facebook ads as the lead source. And then you can do something with it, whether that's you can send a notification, you can send an email, you can create your own custom function and run that, whatever it may be. That is what a workflow is. In order to dive in, let's log into Zoho CRM. We've already done that. And let's go to our test account and go over to under automation. If you click on the settings cog, up here, click the automation and go into the workflow rules. We can actually create a new rule. We we need also need to select which a which module we're working with. So if you have a custom module, in this case we have the custom communications module, we can select that and everything would trigger off of that module. So in this case, let's just say contacts. So we want to say um, welcome email and we could just click next. So right now we are in the workflow and we can select uh, what action we want to take, what date and time based on a score of, of some, of some value. And so generally you want to work with on a record action on a create, create or edit, edit, delete, whatever it may be. So in this case, let's just say create. And in this case, we can also choose which con which contacts matching that certain condition or criteria. So you can choose anything in here and say, if phone equals this, then you want this to happen. Doesn't really matter. In this case, we're just going to select all contacts. And then that is going to get rid of any sort of um, matching conditions that we need to do. And now we have the option to update a field, assign an owner, add tags, send a notification, tag. Tasks. Uh, we get to create our own functions. So there's a whole bunch of things we can do here. We can also schedule actions. So that means we are going to delay this action to make sure it happens, let's say, hours, days, minutes um, apart. So we can say we want it to happen two days after the rule trigger time. We want to hit next. And then we can hit action. And then we can do the exact same thing again, where we can create a record or webhook, function, task, etc. So from here, we can also create another uh, scheduled action. You can only do five of those though. That is your limit. So you can only do five scheduled actions in one workflow. Other than that, you can send a bunch of instant actions. Make sure you subscribe below if you've enjoyed this content or if you have any questions, comment below as well. And uh, we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Bye for now.